Hey, this is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You, and my channel is dedicated to reviewing as seen on TV items, other consumer products, and household gadgets. If that's something that's interesting to you, please consider subscribing to my channel for more videos just like this one. Now, let's get to it. Okay, so today we're looking at another as seen on TV product, the Cop Cam. Cop Cam is brought to you by um, Bulbhead. It's also made by the manufacturers who made the Atomic Beam. Um, the whole point of Cop Cam is they say you could use this as a nanny cam, maybe home security, dash cam. They talk about wearing it on your lapel. Um, it's an interesting thing um, to check out. It was $39.99 at Bed Bath & Beyond, um, but I think you can get it at other retailers. But let's get to a quick unboxing. All right. Open up the bottom of the box. Inside here, um, it looks. I have the cop cam itself. Um, it has the cop cam in here. It's got some screw hardware to mount it. I guess the lapel. This looks like the mounting hardware, and then um, a USB extension. It's interesting that this packaging is so big for such a small item. I hope this unit is not overcompensating for something. Inside the box. It also comes with um, what looks like a way to upgrade your existing 8 gig SD card to a 32 gig. They want to sell it to you for $12.99. Um, I think you can buy those on Amazon for about six bucks. I'm not sure why you would pay $13 from them for that same thing. I was looking on the back of the box and it says use up to 32 gig uh, memory card. So I'm wondering if that's the maximum capacity. I don't know why that would be, but I wonder. Um, and it also has the directions here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip through the directions and try to figure out how to work this product. And then we'll get to a couple of the reviews. Um, so stay tuned. So if you look at the cop cam, it is just such a small little tiny thing. Look how tiny this is. I actually have a quarter to put next to it to show you for reference. I mean, it is little. All right, so I was looking through it. On the side here, it has the USB, uh, micro USB charger. Then it also has the USB, um, I'm sorry, the um, SD card that goes in there. It comes with a current eight gig one, um, and, but that's in here. It's just a small little tiny square. On the one side, it has the on off button and the press record button. So what the directions tells you is it tells you to press and hold this for four seconds. And I count one, two, three, Four, and the red light should come on. Maybe I didn't go long enough. Try it again. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there it came. So the red light is on. So that tells me that the recording function is working right now. I want to switch it to camera first. So now that the recording function is on, um, I'm going to hold it now for two more seconds and this red light should turn green and that turns it to photo instead of video. So let's hold that. One, two hmm, just shut off i think all right turn it back on one two three four five okay now i'm gonna hit it again one two let go oh cool and it turned to green all right so the key is i had to let it go i couldn't just hold and wait for it to turn um, i'm gonna take a few photos right now and i'm just gonna show you i'll put them in here on the on the video what they look like. So all you do is aim and snap. One, two, Oop, that one's gonna be a good one. All right, so it's interesting. I don't know if you can see this, but right here, there's a little tiny green light that when you take the picture, you can actually see in the front when it blinks. So it says when it blinks um, is when you can absolutely see it. What I'm gonna do now is I'll stop this video and I'll record myself using just the cop cam as I work through some of the other features um, of this and then I'll put that video in so you can see what it looks like from just the video and just the sound from the cop cam. I placed the cop cam directly on the tripod where I would have my camera so I'm hoping this is looking directly at me. I've not yet seen what a video from the cop cam would look like um, but I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the features. It comes with an, comes with an 8 gig um, SD card and they tell you that equates up to 50 minutes of video. So if you think about it, you really have to upgrade if you want to use this for any kind of nanny cam because you know what, I work, my wife works 
And if we have a nanny, they're not just here for 50 minutes, they're here um, longer. Um, like I said, they can upgrade to the full um, 32 for $12.99, or I'm sure you can buy that at Amazon itself for cheaper, um, in order to get longer video recordings. So as it is, it's kind of silly um, why you would only have 50 minutes. It, it does say it loops, so once it records 50 minutes, it starts recording right over top of it again. Um, and so it, in a sense, we'll just delete what you've already had. Um, I told you before that the, uh, the cop cam had a lapel, um, which is kind of neat. This thing will just clip right onto you, and it lets you, it's strange too, walk around in public with it like that. And I don't know if there's any kind of laws or regulations, but it seems kind of weird. Um, it also has them where you can put some sticky stuff down and hook it to your car if you want to use it as a car dash cam. But yet again, I would recommend upgrading to a larger um, drive support, a larger SD card, in order to do that. Otherwise, you're just going to be recording over the video that you might want to have saved. Um, it's pretty, it's a neat concept, and I think if this works out, you know what, it'd be something I would recommend. But let me see what this video looks like, and then we'll continue. I do want to also take it outside to see what it looks like as the night vision. All right, so the directions tell you when charging through the USB port to the wall, the light will blink once every three seconds. And then when charging is done, the light will stay red, notifying you that it is fully charged. Through your USB port of the computer, the charging light will blink between red and green, like it's Christmas. Um, once the charging is complete, there'll be no light at all. I'm not too sure why they did two different charging between the wall and the laptop. It seems kind of confusing, but that's just what the directions say. Okay, so I've done a few tests with the cop cam, I've taken photos, I've shot a video with it, but now I want to see how the night vision works, because that's something that's really important. If you're going to use this for a burglar cam, or to see if intruders are coming in, you need to make sure the night vision part works. So let's go outside and see exactly what the cop cam shows us at night. Gone to sleep. I can't see a thing, so I hope you can. Doesn't look like any chicken birds are out here. Alright, right, so, right, so I guess they went to sleep. Now, I'm going to go in and throw this video on the computer to see what it looks like. Hopefully it turns out. As I'm looking at the cam, I can see that the six or so little bulbs around the camera are lit up red right now. So I'm assuming that means this is taking a night video. Um, but we'll see. Okay. So I'm ready to give you my final review of the cop cam. Um, I will say you have to have this in a certain direction to record the video up and down correctly. Um, so when I find out you, you have the, the record button on the one side and then you have the SD card on the other side. Now when you're looking at the record, the record should be written in the direction where you can read it. It should not be upside down. Um, that way you have an orientation of being correct um, up and down. I also noticed when I was looking at the video, some of my timestamps were off by a year and a month or so. I thought that was kind of weird. In the direction, it says nothing how to address that. So I looked through um, the SD card, and on the SD card, it has a video, a photo, and then another file name called Time Rest. And if you click on Time Rest, it opens up to like a notepad um, sheet, and it has 14 different numbers and then a letter. Well, those 14 different numbers are actually the date and the time. So the first four are the year. So it said 2018. So I had to change it to 2019 because this is 2019. The next one is the two-digit month. So I changed it to 02. And then the two-digit day, which for me today is the 18th. So I put one and eight. The next six were military time. Um, time. So I did this around eight o'clock. So I changed it to 2011. And then you have to put the second zero zero. Um, that's how you change the day and time stamp on there. And there's a letter after that. It's Y, which is defaulted. And that just means, do you want to display this on um, the video? And, of course, I just left it as yes. Now, the disadvantage is when you close all this down and reopen it all up again, you're going to have to redo that every single time. This is not that high tech of a piece of equipment, so it won't save it. So it just keeps doing it over and over itself. And so that's kind of annoying. I also will say, I'm not sure why I was purple. 
I kind of looked like Thanos from um, the Avengers movies. I'm not too sure why that was. Um, it's kind of weird. Even in a well-lit room, I was purple. Um, I didn't quite care for that. I guess it's just because it's an inexpensive piece of machinery. Now, that being said, it was 40 bucks. Um, so my thought is what I got, this thing is maybe, this maybe should be the $19.99 price point. And honestly, um, if this was in the $19.99 price point, they probably would sell a whole lot more of these uh, because 40 bucks is kind of too much. When I picked this up at Best Buy, they had to have a thousand of them in stock. All over the wall was just a bunch of these. I'm thinking, well, that's weird. No one's buying them. Um, I also tried this outside at night and I was not that impressed with it because unless I was really, really close to it, I couldn't even see myself. And you'll see in the footage or you saw in the footage, some of it was just black and I was actually looking at me um, and I couldn't see it. So when I brought it closer, I could see myself, but there's not a very big range of view. Um, and to be honest with you, if someone's going to rob your house, they're not going to come right up and look at this thing in the face. Um, so there's some practical things that don't really work. The fact that it only records 50 minutes and then records over itself with the 8 gig, and then even if you had the other one, it's just four times as much, that's not a whole lot, a lot of time to record um, and then have it just record over if you're really looking for something for security purposes. Now, I think if they went back to the drawing board and fixed a few of these things, fixed the time, fixed the color, fixed the view, um, give you a way to show you what the video footage looks like before you start recording it so you know it's in the correct position, you might have a winner here. But as right now, I think it's a dud. Sorry. This has been Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. And if you like this video, please click the like button. Also, I would love it if you'd subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one. Also, comment below in the comment section. Have you tried this or something like it and maybe had different results or just the same? Let me know. As always, thanks for stopping by and have a great night.